Have you ever wondered if you could make animations on your tablet or on your mobile phone? Well, there's an app out there for you. It's called Flipperclip. Some of you may have no use for this video since you already know about Flipperclip. But for those who are new to the app, you'll find this very useful. And with that said, let's get into the video. For those of you using the app for the first time, when you open it, this is the first page you'll be treated to. If you are using a tablet like I am, you'll see two rows. The first row shows the project you're working on or the projects you've worked on, while the ones below shows the projects you've exported into movies. If you're using the phone, the templates will be slightly different. The first page will show you the project you're working on or the project you've worked on, and sliding to the left will take you to the exported movies page. Now if you look at the upper right of your screen, you'll see the setting icon. Click this to adjust the settings on your Flipper Clip app. This is the setting page and the first part of the settings show the platforms that you can follow Flipper Clip on, which is YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. You can also learn how to get started and you can also unlock the premium features. If you intend to make professional animations, then you need to unlock the premium features. It will make your work a lot easier. The premium features enables you to add your own audio, import longer videos, which is very good if you want to rotoscope or if you want to study an animation for reference. It also grants you access to remove the paper clip watermark, add more layers, up to 10 layers, and customize your onion settings. For those of you wishing to learn more about onion settings, I'll soon be making a tutorial video to explain that. You can also back up your project, customize canvas size, and export image sequence. Exporting image sequences is very important if you're working um, with a team of animators and you need to get some files or parts of the animations across to them. You can also customize grid settings and I'll be explaining that in a future tutorial video. And that's all for the premium features. Now back to the settings page. You can enable this feature which will notify you anytime you want to make a replacement on a movie file or on a project you're working on. Enabling splash animation will present you with the app's opening animation anytime you launch the app. I have this feature disabled because anytime I want to work on an animation, I prefer to just go straight into it. Enabling canvas rotation gives you the option to rotate your canvas anytime you are drawing. Your canvas is basically your workspace, um, the part where you can actually draw, paint or color or make your animations. And disabling this feature will only give you the option of zooming in or zooming out on your canvas. If you have a compatible stylus with your mobile device, then enabling the stylus pressure will be a very useful feature for you. It enables you to control the thickness and thinness of your line, depending on whether you add more pressure or less pressure to your screen when you draw with your stylus. The draw input feature helps you determine what your screen will be responsive to, whether it be your, your fingers, your stylus or both. I have mine set to stylus only and this is very useful because anytime I'm drawing on my tablet, it helps to negate any effect that my palms or fingers may have when I'm resting it on the screen of my tablet. For those of you who draw with your fingers or a makeshift stylus, it's good to always check if this feature is disabled or enabled when you notice that your drawings are not responding to your touch. The sonar pen feature is only useful for those who have a sonar pen and you can enable this feature when you have your sonar pen connected to your device. And for those of you who wish to participate in future flipper clip competitions, it's important you create an account. This is going to ensure that you are notified anytime there is an ongoing contest. The rest of the options are pretty much self-explanatory and if there is anything you still don't understand about flipper clip settings, feel free to drop a comment. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.